Let's get into today's video. A few things you need to know about vertical video, Instagram's resolutions, and why it's more important than ever to know how to edit and export your videos in a vertical format. This isn't for every video you produce. When I produce a full wedding film or a wedding film trailer, I don't necessarily export that in a vertical format. It would just be too much work to re-edit all the footage. But if I'm gonna do a short clip of 15 seconds like for reels or for Instagram stories, then I will use a vertical format just because you're using all of the screens. So you're using all of the screen real estate. Uh, which means your videos will stand out more than other people's that don't use vertical formats. It's all about utilizing the vertical format of Instagram, using all the space available and making your videos pop compared to other people that don't necessarily know how to or put the effort into using vertical format. A few facts for you. So most of you will be shooting in 4K or 1080p, nice HD crisp video format and then you're gonna import it into Instagram and the vertical format in Instagram will take your 1920, 1080 footage and turn it into 480 by 852. It will also render it down to a bit rate of three megabits per second. It will automatically play it on a frame rate of 30 frames per second. So you need to know all these things. If you just take your 4K video or your 1080p video and then just export it as it is. Then when it comes to importing to Instagram, Instagram will use its own compression and it will wreck your footage. I've said this before in another video. So that's why when you export the footage out of your software, you want it to be as close to Instagram's resolutions, bits rates, frame rates, so that when it gets to Instagram, Instagram doesn't have to do its own thing to it. You've already done that process, so Instagram doesn't have to. And therefore your footage should look as good as it can at that resolution. So that being said, I'm just gonna edit some footage quickly and export it and I'll show you the settings to use to get the best out of your vertical video. Okay, so I've got some footage here that I shot when I went to see my friend the other day. He took his dog for a walk out the back of his house, got some really nice cornfields. Took my drone, got some nice 4K footage, so we're gonna work with that today. So we've got our 4K footage here. I'm just gonna use this last clip which is of the cornfields. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to modify, interpret footage, and I'm gonna to go to 30 frames per second, 29.97 20, frames per second. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to file, new, sequence. I'm gonna to go to settings. Uh, I'm gonna change the frame rate to 29.97. And then I'm gonna change the frame size to 480 by 852. And then I'm gonna to go to save preset. I'm gonna name it Instagram vertical. Okay. And then we have Instagram vertical. I'm going to call the sequence Dave's house. Dave's my friend. So as you can see here on the right hand side, we have got a vertical screen to put our footage into. So we're going to grab the file that now has a 29.97 frame rate and drag that onto the timeline. And it's going to bring up the clip mismatch warning. So it's gonna say that this clip does not match the sequence settings. You don't wanna change the sequence settings because that's what we've just set up. So you just put keep existing setting. Okay, and then when you import it onto the timeline, it will probably look something like this. So it's still in 4K resolution. Now you could just export it like that to Instagram, but you're not really making use of the above and below. And that's why you want to stand out from other people because some people will just exploit it like this. They think, great, I've got the whole scene. That's what people want to see. But in reality, they don't. Not for a vertical video anyway. You want to make it more eye-catching. Because you've got all this extra resolution to play around with, like you're exporting it into a much lower resolution. All you need to do is go to your scale and just scale it right up so it fills the whole screen. Hold down your mouse on the position 
move it left and right and decide which bit of the screen you want to use. Now obviously I want to use the bit with the sun, uh, but I don't know if I want it in the middle, maybe I want it off to the left just a little bit, so I'll probably use that. It's just pulling back out of the field with the sunset in the background, that's quite nice. And that'll do me, and now the drone goes down. So with reels and stories, you want the videos to be 15 seconds, so I'd aim to keep your footage 15 seconds for Instagram stories and reels. So, I'm gonna go to 1425, that'll do on my timeline. So I'll just hit C to get the cut tool, and I'll make a cut there, and I'll hit V to take it back to the pointer tool, and then I'm just gonna delete the rest of it. And then I'm just gonna hit plus to extend that out. Now I've got a 15 second clip in vertical, that I can now export to Instagram. So now I'll show you the export settings you need to use. If we go Control M, Control M will bring up your export screen. Leave it on H.264, have it as match source, high bit rate. In the video tab, this should all be filled in correctly because we've set up the sequence for the correct resolution, and frame rates, etc. But what you do want to do is click on render at maximum depth. So bit rate, what were we saying before about bit rate? three megabits per second is what Instagram uses. So that's what we're gonna choose for our target and maximum bitrate is three megabits per second. And we're gonna change the bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass, which just gives it the best chance. And we are also gonna make sure that the use maximum render quality is ticked. It is in this case, but you wanna make sure that that's definitely ticked. So now we've got a five file size of five megabytes, which, you know, for Instagram, it's great to have small file sizes. That's what it's all about. So when you've done all this, this is what you're gonna be wanting to use each time to export your vertical videos to Instagram. So we may as well save the preset. So we will save it and we will call it Instagram vertical export. Okay. And now you can see in the export settings, the preset has now changed to Instagram vertical export. And then each time you go into export a vertical video, you just need to find that preset, bang, done. So nice and easy. So we're just gonna save that file as, I'm gonna call it Dave Insta vertical, save. And then you can go to Q and it will export it via media encoder. So if you do it that way, then you can carry on working whilst it's being done. But as it's such a small file, I'm just gonna go straight to export. So I'm gonna go to export. And there we go, done, simple as that. I didn't do any color correction or anything with this one. Obviously usually I do a little bit of color correction, might add some music. But I have done another video on editing drone footage that you can see here. So check that out for sure. But that's it. So that's how you edit and export vertical video for Instagram. And um, like I said, it's more and more important these days, especially if you want to have presence on social media. If you've got drone footage, wedding films, anything like that. Like I said, the actual film themselves, I would probably still tend to host on um, IGTV. If you wanted to use short 15 second clips for Instagram stories, but now more importantly, Instagram Reels, which is a great little function that they've put in there. They've just basically nicked TikTok. And that's gonna become more and more popular, so exporting vertical video is gonna be the thing on Instagram. So it's good to know how to do it and to know how to do it properly. It's good to know how Instagram works, the resolutions they use, and so you can match them in your projects so that when you export them, Instagram doesn't really need to touch it. It just puts it straight up as you've exported it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've enjoyed it or give me some feedback. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Uh, let me know if you do your vertical videos the same. Just start a conversation. It's always good to have a conversation with you guys. I reply to every comment, so please do leave a comment below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed but haven't hit the notification bell, then please do hit the notification bell so I can let you know when the next video comes out. I'm releasing content twice a week at the moment, gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. Free drone luck coming out soon and a new drone luck collection. So 
please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video.